Hey guys, good morning. So I'm about to get my day started. Um, today is Lord, I don't know the date. I'll put it across. <laughs> I'll ignore my background. You know, the fall is coming, so I'm about to change out the curtains this weekend. Um, <laughs> does anyone else do that? Do y'all change the curtains out twice a year? <laughs> Child, I don't know if that's okay. You supposed how many? Oh, answer this below. How many times a year are you supposed to wash your curtains, even if you're not going to change it? Like, how often do y'all wash y'all curtains? Let me know. So, today I'm headed to Sprouts because I have to get some more items that I need for the rollout <laughs> this weekend. I'm so nervous. Oh, my God. You guys, I could cry. I'm so scared. I want y'all to love everything so bad, but... I'm so scared. I'm scared to the point where I don't even want to put nothing out. Before I get started on my day that I did yesterday, I'm going to show you what I made my husband the day before yesterday. <laughs> so let's get into that recipe. All right, so I'm about to make some honey garlic shrimp and broccoli over salmon. And so I'm going to season my shrimp. These are some big, beautiful shrimp that I got from the grocery store. I'm going to season it with my own spice, Misha's Corner spicy girl this is one of my spices that will be live and available for sale september 1st so make sure you guys save the date and tune in for that this is how it looks make sure you season your your shrimp really really well i'm going to use the same spice on the salmon i'm using salmon steaks but you could use tilapia whiting whatever type of fish lobster crabs use whatever this right here is it's lit lemon pepper this is also one of my spices that will be live september 1st so again save the date now i'm just going to sear off my salmon in one skillet and I did it in separate pots, but you honestly could probably do the whole thing in one pot. So to my second skillet, which is a smaller skillet, I'm going to add some garlic that I thinly sliced and some butter. Next, I'm going to add my shrimp and saute down for about two minutes. Not too much because it's going to cook again. So you just want to cook them down just like this. These shrimp, oh my God, I'm so sad I'm allergic. Like they were so big and pretty and you know, just fresh. And so, so that I'm going to, this is how it looks, you know, get nice color on both sides. Then I flip my salmon and this is what my salmon looks like. So everything is <laughs> cooking cohesively. So it's going to gel together. So then I'm going to add some honey to my shrimp. Next, I'm going to add some light soy sauce, or you could use low-sodium soy sauce. Um, I think they're pretty similar, um, but it's not the full-fat soy sauce. So this is what it looks like after it simmers for another two minutes. Then I'm going to add some broccoli. Now, this broccoli, I boiled it for 90 seconds. Now, it's up to you how long you want to boil the broccoli before you add it to the shrimp. But for me, it's going to cook again. So I did it for maybe 90 seconds, if that. And now I'm going to pour the whole entire thing over the salmon. Like literally pick up your skillet and pour the whole entire thing over the salmon. And you're done. <laughs> so you're just going to let this reduce by half. Remember I told you guys it's going to cook again until it gets nice and thick. My stove is on medium high. Turn your stove up. I don't want to hear y'all saying it's watery. Turn your stove up on high okay all right so this is what it looks like i gave him a little bit of rice it's probably a quarter cup it's not much at all just a little bit and the rest of the shrimp i put in a refrigerator and I, this is the drink the peach <laughs> iced tea and now i'm gonna take it to him and everyone asks me why i'm always cooking day in day out day in day out you're not tired of cooking girl you're not tired and the answer is all in this smile right here <laughs> period Look at me showing up for y'all. Look at me vlogging. Nah, let me stop. Y'all know I'm not a good vlogger. Um, I'm about to get my day started, so I decided to take y'all with me. I will show y'all outfit of the day, but I don't have an up and down mirror. <laughs> Wish I should, because I like clothing and fashion and things like that. So it's now 9 a.m., and it's a few days before my launch. And... <laughs> I'm so nervous and excited, but I want to show you guys my grill that my husband just uh, put together. All right, so this is the grill. Ignore my little pillow on the... <laughs> I use that for something. 
okay i'm not gonna spill no tea on myself but anyway it's just a simple grill with a smoker thing on the top and you guys you won't believe this seriously my um i ordered a big old grill right and it was supposed to be here friday and now it won't be here till september so unfortunately and that's what happens with you know when you're a small business or you have something going on you have to prepare yourself for anything that could go wrong um but this is just gonna have to do until then so this is a grill and we're gonna be cooking okay we're gonna be cooking okay all right y'all let me head to the car to take a sip before i go it's a hot day okay so i went to get some seafood some fish some uh, salmon and shrimp and it was actually really hot outside you guys and i couldn't wait to get home because i started to have a headache so this is the seafood section once i got home my husband was on break so i stopped for a quick powwow <laughs> say hi you know chat with him and this now i'm just gonna wash everything up and put it up correctly in the refrigerator as you saw earlier in the video, I did get these salmon steaks and, um, but you know, <laughs> y'all are so impatient. I put the recipe in the front first. So, you know, and then I put the vlog in the back. So I was so annoyed because the salmon steaks were not scaled. They didn't scale the fish. And so I had to scale it myself and look at the water. It was just a mess, but I scaled it with a spoon because I didn't have the proper tool like look at this <laughs> i didn't have the proper tools and so um yeah and then that's the water after i was done and then i rinsed it up and then put it away i did the same thing with the shrimp so i'm not even gonna hold y'all up just rinse it put it away in ziploc bag now this snapper was so big and pretty the eyes were nice and bright i'm just gonna rinse it up i'm gonna wrap it in parchment paper and put it away so this is the end of the vlog it will be continued thank you guys so much for tuning in and i'll catch you on my next video bye y'all